What's up, Vespa loving friends? This is Steve from Scooter West, showcasing a new and exciting uh, exhaust, fresh to our shop from Melosi. This is the Melosi three valve 150cc exhaust for the Sprints and Primaveras. Probably the most radical performance exhaust for those engines on the market. Yes, even more radical than the Akrapovich one. We're gonna get into those details here shortly. The part number, just so you know, find it on the site, is M3216551. Not only does this outperform the Akrapovich, it's also on average $100 to $150 cheaper. Um, starting with the money maker, first and foremost, the silencer. Stainless and titanium mixture. It's got the carbon fiber cap, <clears throat> the anodized block, black body. The mounting very, very, very much parallels the Akrapovich exhaust. Actually, all aspects of this parallel the Akrapovich exhaust. Same goes with this water jet cut mounting bracket that mounts to the actual crankcase and the exhaust mounts to that. All the mounting hardware, of course, is included, as well as like the swivel stainless style of spring for connecting the silencer to the header. And this is the big thing with the header. This actual diameter of the header, uh, the stainless header is actually larger than the Akrapovich one. Uh, so this thing is going to pump and move more air than even the Akrap one. You can see a nice stainless header. For comparison's sake, this is a standard exhaust. Look at this little pea shooter thing. Tiny header, all one size, all the way into the silencer body. That should be a pretty good one. You can see the oxygen sensor bung. You can kind of see the angle of everything. So this is bigger from the start. And then the nice thing is it kind of flares and cones out. This is really what creates the power on four-stroke bikes. Actually a nice long, uh, free-flowing, gradually opening header like that. And then of course this thing installs to that. Telescopes in there. And then of course the spring mounts to that. So that's actually what it would be, a complete system uh, from Melosi. Part number one, final time, M3216551. Look at that exhaust. Make your 150 Sprint or Primavera scream with this bad boy. We're gonna be installing it shortly on this yellow Sprint on the lift behind me. Thanks for tuning in. Signing out, Steve from Scooter West in sweltering San Diego. All right, so I've already removed the stock exhaust. It's quite a heavy unit, nice and quiet, if that's what you like. But we like power and we like a little bit of noise. So uh, pretty simple to remove. Remove the two Allen fasteners that retain the exhaust. From here, actually just loosen them at first. And then at the header, there's two copper colored nuts that need to be removed. It's best done with an extension and a, a 10 millimeter socket. And this is quarter inch drive, so it's a little bit smaller. And you can see I have an extension that has a wobble to it. And that makes it a little bit easier, you know, to gain access to this uh, frontmost copper uh, colored flange nut right there. Then also you want to double check the exhaust gasket up in that, um, up in the head. If it has any sort of like burning to it or or the old exhaust was noisy, it would be a good idea to replace that exhaust gasket. Oxygen sensor? Uh, as for the oxygen sensor, um, you need a 14 millimeter wrench. It's quite fragile, and you want to carefully remove it from the old exhaust. Uh, it disconnects via this uh, four pin connector. There's a gray locking tab that needs to be pulled out prior to pushing the little button that releases the connect connection. And also, right front most of the fan, there's this, a little screw that retains this little um, cable clamp bracket right here. So the oxygen sensor has been completely removed, so it can be installed on the new header pipe. All right, the Melosi header tube, for some reason they put a plug in the O2 sensor. Well, all these bikes have an O2 sensor, so go ahead and remove the plug. You'll need a 17 millimeter wrench to do that. Prior to installing the uh, oxygen sensor, I put a small amount of anti-seize on the threads. I repeat, just a small amount because you don't want it contaminating the actual sensing element of the O2 sensor. And go ahead and just hand, you know, start it by hand. And it's got a built-in crush washer, 14 millimeter wrench. And just snug it in place. 
Now the header is ready for installation. All right, prior to installing this header, there's a TIG weld on the edge of the spigot that goes up into the cylinder head. It's got a slight roughness to it. You can either take a piece of sandpaper and a flat surface and sand it flat, or I'm going to take it to the belt sander and probably touch it for about two seconds to flatten that out. So I'll be right back. Okay, go ahead. All right, so this has been uh, cleaned up and just surfaced ever so slightly to give it a perfectly flat surface here. And we're going to go ahead and install the header with the two brass nuts. Again, I put a small amount of anti-seize on the two studs that come out of the cylinder head. All right, I don't even have the ratchet on the wrench because for right now, I just want the header, the, the pivot on the. So right now, both of them are just uh, bottomed out, both screws, but there's still some wiggle in the header and I'm gonna leave it that way. Uh, O2 sensors pretty much installs in reverse order. I won't really cover that. Definitely needs to be plugged in prior to installation here. Um, one thing with this bracket is you wanna get it in place prior to um, installation. And you may want to also, you know, it's also, you could install this prior, but I got a wobble extension that goes right in here. And the install the bracket, you can see it's kind of pointing up. You want to use the two included screws with the flat washers and split washers. So the bracket's in place, and I have it pretty well centered on those screws and tighten them. The header's still loose, and before you install the muffler, you want to put a, a coat of anti-seize all around in there. And it's going to smoke off a little bit at first, but it leaves behind some metal particles that um, keep, keep the two uh, the stainless steel parts from seizing season up. So typically, I don't really like touching the, uh, the pipes too much. You know, because grease prints will um, sometimes discolor the, the fresh metal. So, I have that slid on there. And as you can see, kind of work it until the holes are pretty close to lined up. I have a flat washer on each one of these eight millimeter fasteners. Drop the flat, uh, fastener through. Don't drop the washer, but, and pretty much repeat on all three of these, um, these screws. And I'm just installing them so they're all loose inside the, not actually tighten them in at this point. So. If you're having difficulty uh, lining up the holes, you can loosen the two mounts. And you can see I can just barely get a ball ended um, Allen in there, loosen it, and kind of tip the bracket in whatever direction you need it to be, and then go ahead and re-tighten those. And again, none of these fasteners are tight yet. Oh. Now that the header's lined up, I can go ahead and tighten the two header to uh, cylinder head junction copper color nuts. And again, you want to use like a little bit of a wobble on the front one. The rear one, you can you know, get a, a straight shot at. You do not want to over tighten these. I've seen plenty of them broken. Uh, no more than like 11 foot pounds. Next, you want to take the spring, hook it on the exhaust pipe, and then hook the lower part into your spring puller. Make sure the scooter's secure. And go ahead and drop that right into the, um, the header's uh, spring loop there. And now that the header's tight, you can go ahead and tighten all four of the, um, the muffler fastening bolts here. The way you do that is you want um, one of the internal ratcheting wrenches, makes it much easier, but you're gonna need two wrenches. So essentially you can hold the, um, and get behind it, because you're not gonna have much room for a socket. The Melosi pipe includes a removable internal baffle here. Uh, if you remove the, the baffle, you may gain more upper RPM horsepower with the aid of some additional fuel tuning. The 
The removal of the baffle requires you to grind this small tab here prior to removing the circlip, then pulling the baffle out.